category of people who come to me for rolfing are athletes. Now certainly athletes have a lot of injuries, but even when they don't have injuries, the typical athlete who's trying to get stronger, build their body up, push it harder, as you lift weights, as you begin to increase the stress on your body, as you begin to practice harder and harder, certain structures, certain joints in your body become more bound up, more tied up. Uh, some of the athletes that I work with oftentimes, certainly with football, there's a lot of ankle sprains and knee injuries and whatnot. And when you've got those type of injuries, that in a sense begins to create more problems in your lower back and it affects your upper back as well. It just begins to create a, a, a string of dominoes and after a while everything is somewhat problematic. And when I first got roughed, one of the things that I noticed was that suddenly my tennis game improved. Uh, before I got roughed, it was very difficult for me to reach back and hit a tennis ball and, and, uh, and, and serve the ball properly. Probably because in the past I had been hunched over a guitar for 20 years. And as I was hunched over that guitar, everything in my shoulders got really tight and short. And it was hard for me to open my shoulder girdle up. So after going through the rolfing process, the, my whole shoulder began to move so much easier that actually the, my serve, which used to be my worst, uh, what do you call that? Stroke. My worst stroke suddenly became my best stroke. And I won a lot of games simply because I was a lot better server. Tell me something about uh, the limitations that you have in your dance and where you're feeling it in your body. Um, well, most of the trouble is with alignment. When I stand uh, sideways, my neck uh, goes this way, and so I, I don't get a, a straight vertical feel. I can try to correct it I, from my normal posture. What I try to do is pull back my lower back and lengthen my neck. So I, I feel a little more vertical, but as soon as I'm not concentrating on that, I lose it again. Um, what happens when you lose it? What, what do you feel happening in your body, do you? I sink, sink into my, I guess my pelvis, uh, but I get this curve in my lower back and my neck. I feel like I'm moving across the floor this way. Right. That's an exaggeration. The basic problem in practically all bodies is a shortening of the spine. And that shortening of the spine occurs by virtue of the lumbar spine, which consists of very heavy vertebra, and which becomes displaced forward. So if you're ready to improve your performance on the field or on the court, I'm confident that Rolfing can help you. So give me a call or go to my website. How does that sound?